Welcome back to Extreme One Drunk Iron Man Birth Orp Edition, episode number two. I won't take too much of your time because this is a very long episode, but I just want to thank you all for the great reception for episode one. And if you're interested in the bond giveaway results, it'll be shown at the end. I hope you enjoy the episode. So I decided to come and flinch these soldiers for a bit uh, because unfortunately the guards that I was killing are actually really resistant to crush and obviously the Warhammer is a crush only weapon uh, meaning I was hitting a lot of zeros. It was still better than the Iron Dagger but it was still taking a long time uh, compared to these soldiers. I know it's not looking like it because I've hit like five zeros in a row but it's actually I wouldn't say extremely accurate but it's much more accurate than it was uh, against the guards because as you can see uh, not here here uh, that these guards that I have to kill for the Mitchell Fulham have a fifth plus 50 crush defense and they had a plus 36 stab so even though the mace is better than the dagger the difference itself on these guys other than having a higher max hit is not that big but the soldier although I don't have its stats because the wiki doesn't have them it's pretty clear that it's not uh, that good against crush because I was hitting pretty accurately so I figured I might as well do him until I get the black claws by doing so I'll get a few more levels I'll probably be 40 attack 40 strength at least by the time I get these claws if I am anywhere near the drop rate so I'll be even more accurate once it's uh, time to go back to the guards. So that will be the plan for now. Hopefully we get those black claws pretty soon. So while you're watching me flinch this soldier, uh, unfortunately my last clip corrupted. I had just received the camel top which doesn't sound like such a big deal. However it was my very first collection log. So we keep going. Obviously as I stated before uh, we do not need to fill the random event uh, collection log but it is a nice to have and also now they've updated it so when you have a full set and you do the thing again and you already have the emotes unlocked you actually get a genie lamp so getting all of those done will eventually give us more lamps every time we get a random event so we look forward to that well that was extremely unexpected I figured I needed a little break from uh, slaying soldiers so I wanted to try these uh, guards again and would you look at that uh, it took what 19 kill counts to get the 1 in 128 drop uh, so pretty spooned I'm not gonna lie I'll gladly take it but now we only have two things left so we can leave this chunk it's getting the black claws which is also 1 in 128 drop and starting that plateau and going as far as I can on the quest and then we'll be able to roll a new chunk and here's 30 hit point. Also, I uh, did get a few levels and now 33 strength and 31 attack for 35 combat. Uh, so far, only 19 kills. That's going to be my 20th kill. So I can't really complain that I'm dry or anything. And here's level 35 strength and 37 combat. Stats are looking pretty okay. 33 attack, 35 strength. And if you're wondering, we are now at 29 soldier skill. That will be the number 30. Still going strong. I've been waiting a long time for my next random event, and I finally get one. And it's the only random event I cannot do. Because if you do this event, he will teleport you to either, I believe, Yanil, Varrock, and Sears Village which obviously I cannot access, so unfortunately this is the only time in uh, quite a while that I'll be dismissing a random event. Oh, and if you're wondering, about to get 34 attack, and we're now, let's see how many I have. We are now 35 kill deep. Keep it rolling. So we just got level 36 strength and that gave us 38 combat this is also as you can see here our 50th kill count on these soldiers unfortunately we had the 1 and 128 drop rate three times 
the mitral bar, the steel thrill helm, and the two blood runes are all the same drop rate as the black claws, but considering the crazy RNG I had with the guards, I really can't complain, so we move forward. Well, would you look at that, steel claws, it's not quite the one we wanted. I mean, it's not that bad. It's 1 in 64 drop rate, so about twice as more common than the Black Claws. We're now at 61 KC, and believe it or not, these uh, Steel Claws are actually better DPS than the Mitral Warhammer. Obviously not when I'm flinching, but if I were to just train on the civilians, the DPS is actually better with these because it's a 4 tick weapon compared to this, even though the stats on the Mitchell Weimer are massively better than the Steel Claws because it's so much faster. It actually is better XP per hour if I'm trading on civilians. Well, if it isn't our first blue boy, we got, I believe we got three count check, and this is actually the first genie. So, as usual, uh, we will put this on Slayer. Still, still far away from uh, level, but hey, we're getting there slowly. Currently, I am 37 strength, 35 attack. Recently got a prayer level to 20. I'm training a little bit here while uh, I have to uh, semi-AFK so I don't have to pay as much attention. Flinching, flinching sorry. Um, and yeah, I'll probably get 40 strength and go back to flinching. I also banked my armor so because it don't really hit much. I'm 10 HP, but that was from uh, attacking a guard, not from these guys. Uh, so I don't really need my Mitral armor with me. It just slows me down. Uh, and because I'm killing these two uh, civilians back to back, I kind of need to run a lot, so uh, it's better to be lightweight, and with my uh, one agility, I uh, don't have much run energy, so I'm trying to preserve it, and so far, it's actually been pretty decent, uh, shrank XP wise per hour, uh, let's see here, I'm getting close to 9k per hour, and... Before the claws with the Mitral Warhammer, when I did this, I was getting maybe 4.5, 5k. So this is pretty good. Uh, and I cannot do this easy clue. I actually have four steps uh, from easy clues that I can do. Uh, I've I've gotten I think five easy clues so far. Not a single one were Remington. Oh, not Remington now. Uh, Birth Orb steps. I'm hoping to get one, and obviously I'll juggle them if I do. But I'd really like to complete an easy clue scroll before I leave this junk. It's not a chunk goal, but it's a personal goal that would be awesome to accomplish. Hopefully we get one. And here's level 40 strength. We also got 40 combat a bit earlier. As you can see on the map, I've been pretty lucky with easy clue scrolls. Unfortunately, not a single one of them was one of the four steps I can make. There's also two more uh, on the other side of the castle, so I got eight clue scrolls. Unfortunately, none of them were uh, one of the steps I can do. So, I think we're going to abandon this idea for now. Uh, we're probably going to end up doing one eventually because we'll most likely need to get 65 attack and strength eventually, and I'll most likely train here. Uh, so, I'll definitely get an uh, opportunity to get many clue scrolls done. But for now, let's just finish this uh, last chunk goal, well, second to last chunk goal, and get those black claws. Welcome to today's special segment where we look at interesting birth or fact so let's get right into it everybody uses the rogues and fire but nobody uses grace's fire but she does have a cool pet named mark but it's the wrong kind of mark you can still pet him though so that's pretty neat did you know that if you speak to any level 48 soldier they'll get they'll tell you a sentence in latin they actually have 25 different dialogues and this one is the only one where he speaks any words of english when you ask if he insults you and he says yes he is did you know that if you talk to any guard in the Birthorp castle, it'll say in the chat box that the guard won't talk while he's on duty, so I guess they're all Queen's Guard. Did you know that all the windows frame in the Warrior's Guild are actually made of swords? Did you know that Birthorp Castle is one of the only castles where you can walk from the edge from the outside, from the inside, and even from within? Did you know that underneath Birthorp, in the Birthorp's game room, there's this cool room where there's a ton of tables, four nice fireplace, and even a personal bartender selling you drinks. 
And that's it for the fun facts. Hopefully you enjoyed them. And now it's time to head back to the schedule program. And with this kill, we reach a grand total of 100 KC. So we killed 100 of them. Pretty close to the drop rate, so I can't complain. But it might not look like it, but it actually takes quite a while to get every single kill. Uh, at least two minutes per kill, so... Uh, it's a bit of a grind, but it's okay. I'm about to get 37 attack too, and I just got 36 HP. Uh, and if for whatever reason you were curious as to how you lure those, well, simple as that. And now you can flinch, which I've been doing for, well, two hours and, and a half so far, this logging session, but <laughs> much more before that, but it's okay. Uh, eventually we'll get it. Hopefully we don't go something crazy like double the drop rate, but as long as we get it, let's say within 200 KC, I'm okay because I'm going to need 65 attack and 65 strengths regardless, but it would help to have those black claws as soon as possible because the XP is going to be much better uh, with the black claws than it is with a Mitchell Warhammer, so hopefully uh, sooner rather than later. Could this be our maze? Oh, no, it's a kebab. It's the fourth mysterious old man, and I've had three kebabs. Well, two kebabs and coins, and one mime show. Hopefully the fifth is actually a maze random, because I could really use the air runes. It would uh, make killing the soldiers a lot faster, but mostly I could actually be AFK for a bit, or at least safe spot and relax. So I guess I'll just stay until we get this kill, because you can see uh, flinching this much. It's not always ideal, especially when it has 3 HP left and you can't seem to just finish it off, but... Nope. <laughs> okay, I'll come back when it's dead. And of course, the very next hit, it actually died for a grimy Terraman. And with this kill, we are officially uh, at the drop rate for the Black Claws, we have killed 128. We So we won't get Spoon, it's not an issue. Uh, I'll give you a quick stat update. I got 30 defense, figured I'd get my defense up a little bit. Uh, we just got 43 strengths maybe 5 minutes ago, now 38 HP. Drops coming. So I've decided to test my luck uh, on these guards. They actually do drop air runes uh, at a 1 in 64 drop rate. And I found somewhat of a cool trick where I can hit it three times and it only hit me once. And I'm using stab on the cost because it's weakest to stab. And then switching with my Warhammer to hope to get a, a max hit from it. Uh, and then flinch, hit it three times. In the meantime, it hits me once. Uh, it's pretty quick that way, way faster than soldiers. And I'm just trying to get a few uh, air runes. So basically every time I'm full HP, I take a break from uh, the the soldiers and I come here to the guards while I still have some HP left when I'm back to like 15 HP I'll go back to the soldiers and chase uh, the black claws but for now if I can get some free air runes that would be great although uh, I've been spooned yet again with five Mitchell plate bodies in 36 skill count with this KC I should have barely one and I have five so I guess my RNG is uh, pretty much only for the guards hopefully I get some for the soldiers though well, here's our first fishing XP of the account, from level 1 to level 7. Always love these free levels. And we just got a Freaky Forester, and actually our first pants or legs of the account. I mean, I'm not sure if I like it or I hate it, but hey, we got pants now. And here's our second fishing random event. We are now level 10 fishing. Never fished a day in my life on this account, but hey, we're level 10. We might be getting a maze this time. It is a maze. Perfect. So if you guys didn't know, uh, let me show you. Let me, I have this open. Uh, just a second here. So these are items you can get from the random chests that are in the maze. 
So what I'm really after is as many air runes as possible. I wouldn't mind attack potions or strength potions either. It'll just help when I'm flinching monsters, so hopefully we get a good amount. And the reason why... Let's see, what, where's the closest one? Ah, that's a terrible spawn to be fair, because I have to go back and there are no chests, because I can't reach this one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to lose a few seconds, but it's fine. Yeah, the closest chest is actually pretty far away, goddamn. No chest, no chest this way, no chest that way. I just lost... <laughs> Uh, nope, I can't even reach that one. Jesus. There it is. That's a, <laughs> I lost 10 minutes worth of chests, but... So, the reason why uh, we can do this for now 90 minutes is that once the chest is open, uh, the percentage stalls. So, basically, uh, until I reopen it, it's not going to move. And every minute it closes, you can open it again, and then you lose a percent. So, because I'm at 90%, I'll technically be able to loot this chest 90 times. But it also means I have to stay online, well online, I have to stay here for an hour and a half. So, hopefully we get a ton of air runes, because uh, I was going to keep that as a kind of surprise, I guess. But uh, let me show you real quick. I was chasing after... Uh, air runes on the guards and mind you that is a 1 in 64 drop rate I'm almost three times over the rate uh, to get air runes because uh, let me show you my chunk picker real quick while I open this iron arrows not that bad although it's completely useless for now so uh, I kind of realized that it slipped my mind that I can actually do an extra task which is uh, to cast a wind strike, I don't do magic as a uh, chunk tasks, but because I can get mine runes from pretty much every civilian in Berthorpe and air runes from the guards at a one in sixty four, I should have put cast a wind strike from the get go, but I kind of forgot. Well, not forgot. I just didn't think about it, and so I added this now. Assuming I, I get air runes during this maze, which I'll def I definitely will, I'll be able to do this and I won't have to kill more guards because I almost killed 180 and I didn't get a single drop of air runes. Uh, so we'll do this real quick and it's going to help a lot to get the black claws because we'll be able to safe spot the, the uh, soldiers, which is going to make it way easier. So that's uh, this uh, maze random event could not have come at a, at a better time. And... We just got more iron arrows, so hopefully uh, we stop getting useless arrows and we start getting some air runes. And there it is, after about 12 pulls, we got some air runes, so now we're guaranteed to be able to complete our cast to win strike uh, chunk goal, but obviously I'm hoping for way more. It is a 1 out of 10 drop, uh, so I'm hoping to get at least 100 air runes total, minimum. That would be nice because obviously uh, that's a great way for me to get magic XP and it'll uh, make it way easier to kill soldiers, so the more the better. And with this chest we are done. So let's go to the bank and see what we got on average, considering this is a 1 out of 10, one out of 10 chances to get air runes and I opened 90 of them. I should have gotten on average 135 air runes. We're hoping for more, but anything over 100 and I'd be pretty happy. But let's see. 195, so we got way more than uh, we were expecting. That's perfect. And it's almost perfectly matched with the amount of mine runes I have. So we have uh, over 100 different type of strike cast now that we have pretty much... Uh, runes of every elemental rune so that'll be nice well today's just my lucky day right after the maze event I was still collecting my runes and I get a quiz so we'll get a mis our first mystery box let's see what we get and for our first mystery box we get a cabbage it's actually not as bad as you might think because 
that's the only food I have that does not drain my attack, so heals the same as a beer, but doesn't have any side effects. So let's complete one of our jungles, and with this we can officially tick the cast a wind strike off, and now we are truly uh, only with obtain black claws left, so of course I'm going to use some of my runes on these bend on these soldiers and hope for the black claws. And with that we get our first magic level of the account, and of course we're using our best in slot magic gear, our good old reliable iron dagger and a bit of fashion show with the shorts. And we just got level 9 magic, which unlocks the earth strike, which uh, big difference. I did use some water strikes. I also received water runes from the maze event. That's the only way I can get water runes here. So I don't want to use them all. I save them just in case like I get at some point the ability to make a sapphire amulet and I'll get a magic amulet because I can enchant those now. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty accurate with uh, earth and magic, um, earth and water strikes, so definitely worth it, and it's a, uh, on average it's probably 30 seconds even less per kill compared to the 4 minute flinching method, so it's, uh, it's a big positive. And here's level 13 magic, I can now use fire strike. I'm not really going to use it because it uses 2 air runes per cast, whereas earth strike only uses 1, so if I ever get a lot more air runes, it'll be worth it, but as I'm limited. And that was my last kill with the uh, magic because I'm so low on runes, and I'd still like to keep a little just in case I ever need something for, uh, say, ancient uh, level 2. So until I get more of these two runes, that'll be it, so we go back to flinching. And I just missed it, but uh, here's 49 combat, but more importantly, 40 attacks. So if we ever get uh, a rune weapon, a rune spear from a random event, maybe, then uh, we will be able to equip it. And right after this kill, we get another quiz master. Hopefully, we get a decent reward from our mystery box. And mystery box number two is... An old boot. Nice. Well, another collection log. Camel tops, uh, camel bottoms. Not sure which one I like more. To be honest, I think this one looks uh, <laughs> looks a bit scarier, but uh, I guess we blend in better with this one. I guess we'll swap between the two. And unfortunately I missed it, but uh, I just got 26 prayer, and with that came 50 combat. If you'd like to know how the uh, grind for the Black Claws is looking like, we just passed 100 and 184 kills, and if you're curious how many times I've actually hit the 1 out of 128, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I hit my drop rate 10 times, but unfortunately, none of them are the one I want. Hopefully, uh, the 11th one is the correct one. Hello darkness, my old friend. And with that, here's skill number 200. As you can see here, uh, we now have 200 kills, still no loot. We got a couple more, uh, not trolls, but uh, unfortunate drops like the steel bar and a second set of steel claws. Uh. Yeah, I know it doesn't sound like it's this long, but at best, I'm getting 15 to 20 kills an hour, and uh, a lot of these kills in the early stages where my stats were lower, uh, I was probably getting 5 to 10. So yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely been the biggest part of my uh, my chunk so far. I didn't think Black Claws would be uh, the biggest grind of my first chunk, but it's okay. Uh, just, you know, get the drop. Hello, Do we get another maze? Nah, it's a mime show. 
I'll still do it after uh, I finish this kill off. No collection log, unfortunately, but we do get uh, the glass box emote. We got another graveyard, and that's two collection log and best in slot, I guess, boots for <laughs> the feasible future. Uh, we'll take it. We're now up to five collection logs, and still no black claws, of course. And we just got a prison peat random event, and we get. Let's see. Six toad flags. Might be useful one day, but uh, right now, not really. Another one. You're joking. Not another one? Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not it. Uh, yeah, we're now exactly twice the drop rate for the Black Claws. Still nothing. Uh, shit ton of uh, Steel Claws, though, and a lot of other shit. Uh, we're gonna carry on. I I might try and get a easy clue scroll from these civilians, just to do something else rather than flinching the soldier for uh, another three hours. Here's 51 combat after getting 50 strength. Figured I would get some levels up. I'm probably going to get, I would say, 45 attack, maybe 35 or 40 defense, and then we'll go back to flinching. We get another lovely old man. Is it a maze? It is a maze. Okay. So I guess I'll see you in an hour and 40 minutes. And this should be the last chest we can open. Let's see what we got in the bank once we get teleported out. I think it was fairly decent with the amount of air runes, if I'm being honest. I, It felt like I got a lot. I, sh I had 12 in the bank before. So let's see. Anything over 150 and I'm happy. 190, so about the same. Maybe one less than the last time, so pretty good overall. I actually don't have enough mind runes to use all of my air runes, so I might regret this later, but I think I'm going to use Fire Strike uh, basically 60 times, and I mean, maybe it's going to give me four soldiers-ish, and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, we just did our first kill since we're back from the maze, and we get another Mysterious Old Man, and this time it's just coins. No back-to-back -back maze. That would have been bittersweet, because that would have meant another one hour and 40 minutes inside, but only coins. And here's level 15 magic, two levels away from being able to use Windbolt. I don't have many uh, Chaos Runes, but I do have some, so maybe I get to use some of them. And let's see what we get here, coins. And with this last Fire Strike, I've used all of my Mind Runes, pretty close to 17. Only 155 XP left. Fortunately, I'm not going to get it, so... I can only hope that I get some mine runes from the mans, and then I should be able to get 17. Oh fuck, I missed my lyric. <laughs> anyway, so once I get 17, I'll be able to go grab my Chaos runes and start using those too. I think I found some bots that either auto click or see I went upstairs to drop an easy clue that I couldn't do and because now they last for an hour I didn't want to stare at this for an hour so I went upstairs saw this guy alking immediately stopped as I came and logged out I mean I guess my chunk is a hotspot for auto clicking high alchemy who would have thought I just got some mine runes from a drop, and with that, it's 17 magic, and I can use Wind Bolt. I only have 24 casts, so 
we'll see if we get anything. And there's our last wind bolt. Unfortunately, only got almost two kills. And here we're also going to get, if I could hit, I guess I'm not going to hit, but yeah, 41 attack once I hit. There we go. And while I have you there, might as well stay until the end of the kill. Unless... See, this is <laughs> this is what I've been dealing with for the past, probably, I want to say, 20 hours, at least, that I've been flinching these. <laughs> But uh, it's coming to an end eventually. But this is why it takes so long, because even with stats that are okay-ish, a lot of zeros, even when it's about to die, it just, there we go. And unfortunately, only coins. Hey, Count Jack, it's been a while, so we'll gladly take it. That's uh, 10 extra Slayer XP. And let's finish it off while we're there. Might as well give you an update too. We are now at, that's gonna be 280. Who knows, maybe it's the last one. Nope, coins again. And with this skill, we have kill number 300. So yeah, still no claws, but sure, <laughs> you know. Fingers crossed. And we have another mysterious old man, and it is only a sapphire. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Messi Messiah. He randomly caught me uh, while I'm on my grind for the Black Claws, and he asked me for my YouTube link, but little did he know I have not uploaded yet at the time of recording this, uh, but hopefully he sees this in a few weeks time and recognizes himself. And we get another mysterious old man, let's see what we get. It is a maze, okay. So I'm gonna have to hop because uh, I don't have an hour and 40 minutes before I get six hour nerd logout. So yeah, we're still gonna do the whole uh, one hour and 40 minutes there. And with this chest, we've collected all of the chests we could. And let's see how many air runes we got. Uh, we definitely have more air runes than mine runes. I was already banking low on them, so uh, let's see, 83, so I have about 90 casts that I can do, and only 135 air runes, so I was definitely on the unluckier side this time around, but since I don't have uh, as many minor runes, it's actually okay. And about, I would say, 5 minutes after getting our mace, we get a new collection log with the leather hose and hat. Probably not going to wear it very often, even though it's probably one of the coolest ones, because I'll mostly be wearing my Mitchell full hall most of the time, but for the time being, while I'm majoring, I guess I can use this one. And we just got level 21 magic, which actually unlocks low level alchemy, so we have uh, plenty of duplicates, Mitchell plate bodies, and so forth, so I do have access to nature runes by killing guards, but they only drop four at a time, and it's an extremely rare drop. So I, I won't be using them, but at least I have the option if I ever need to aug something. And with this skill, we are now officially at three times the drop rate. 384 KC. If we examine the loot, we got 10 steel claws. We got five mitral bars. All of them are at the same drop rate as the uh, black claws. We got the two blood rune drop four times, same drop rate as the black claws four times the steel full ham, which is the same drop rate as the black claws, and three times steel bars, which of course is the same drop rate as the black claws. So in total, we got 16 times the one out of 128 drop rate, but none of them were the black claws. So surely we don't go four times the drop rate, right? And we get another mysterious old man. Is it another maze? That's a mime show. We'll do it. I'm just gonna finish the skill first. And we get two new collection log, a shirt I'm probably never going to wear again, and a fresh pair of boots.
And with this skill, remember I just asked, surely we don't go four times the drop rate, right? Well, actually we do. That is now 512, which is exactly four times the drop rate for Black Claws. Still don't have them, but I mean, surely we don't go five times the drop rate, right? Well, at least to make me feel a little better, we're talking probably 30 seconds since I just came, became four times dry. We are getting a Dunce Random Event, our very first of the account, so that'll be 15 Slayer XP. We'll gladly take that. And I guess it's a good time also, now that we just gained 15 Slayer XP, to give a bit of a stats update. Uh, we just got 40 defense a bit earlier, a bit more tanky now, 54 strength, 48 hit point, and 31 prayer. I actually lost 4 prayer points when I was not paying attention, so those are 4 prayer points. Prayer points I'm never going to get unless I roll this chunk where I have this altar I can pray at. I cannot access this one, and there are no altars in the Warriors Guild, so yeah, I'm already minus four prayer points. Hopefully, we don't lose any more. I just love random inter interactions with uh, players. I was just minding my own business, you know, flinching as you do, and this guy comes in, calls me a noob, totally uncalled for, but hey. I say thanks, he asks me if I need any help, I say no sir, and then he reminds me that there's a trap door with a bank right in the corner here, yeah. Thanks for the uh, very useful advice, Sir Cam. Always one of the nicest random events you can get, a nice book of knowledge, 15 star XP, we're now one book away from getting level 2 or 2 lamps. And this skill marks number 600. Quick update on the stats. Just got 48 attack, as you saw earlier. 49 hit point. Stats are the same. 32 prayer, though. So, yeah. Numbers go up. Yes! Yes! So, as you guys just saw, we just finally got our black claws. If you were wondering... It did take, let's see here, 627 soldiers before I got it, which was just 13 kills short of being five times the drop rate. So at least we got it slightly below. So I guess we'll take that. And now uh, there's just one thing left to do in our chunk. Let me show you our chunk picker real quick. So now we can tick off these two things. It's so only one thing. I'm going to go ahead and start that plateau, and as soon as this is done, we're rolling a new chunk, baby. And with the drop, it concludes episode number two. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I have a new subscription. If I did, please like and subscribe. Sorry if it was a bit of a long one. I really wanted the Black Claws before ending the episode, but now that we have them, just one more chunk goal, and we will be able to roll a new chunk, which we will do in episode number three. So thank you so much for watching, and if you're interested, now are the results of the Bond giveaway from episode number one. Okay, it's time to pick the winner of the bond giveaway. Uh, I've never done this before, so I don't know. We'll try this website maybe. And the winner is. We'll do anything goes. And the winner is Chunk Voyant. Congrats, Mr. Chunk Voyant. And because the video first video did so well, I might actually do a second giveaway. So leave your RuneScape name again and. You'll have a chance to win a giveaway next week also. So I'm here with the first episode's winner, Bon Giveaway Chung Voyan. I hope you enjoy your free Bon. And yeah, leave your comments below if you actually want a chance to win another Bon Giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you again next week for episode number three. Bye bye.